loves. Good night. How you doing? I presume most of you know that I've been doing the cards for a while now. So this is my first try on camera. I sure wanted to resonate with those who really need to hear this message. Um, I've already shuffled and pulled the cards. Uh, I pulled three cards for the possible energy you've faced recently or is facing now or is about to face. And um, the, I pulled one clarifier. I pulled um, an overall mess, uh, message advice for the reading. So, let's go. The Jack of Spade. The Jack of Spade is, um, from my intuition, I'm saying it's a young energy. It's a young energy. However, this person is um, a rebel, fights for a cause, is very smart, intellectual, political, or, you know, just a stand-up kind of guy. Um, this person might carry an Im immature energy regardless of his um, stand-up kind of guy personality or um, woman whoever <laughs> whichever gender um it's possible this person is um a hair sign a gemini a libra or an aquarius you could be this person or somebody in your life right now or somebody who is near to come in your life could be carrying this energy um this person could possibly be helping you with um your personal or business life or something expect this person to um, communicate with you if you've been thinking about someone of this nature expect this person to communicate with you soon you know or this person's also thinking about you now let's move on to the five of diamonds over here <laughs> the five of diamonds this could indicate that you're in your head your five is disturbance this could indicate that um you're thinking about some loss some loss of possession or um job or money or it could be in a relationship from a practical point of view um however is some form of concern you're having your health could also be concerning you recently concerned you or soon to concern you you prob you might just need rest you know you might you might just be having your monthly or something like that but right now you're not at your best or could soon be at that point where you're not at your best you know, um, the Ace of Spade. Let's move on to the Ace of Spade. The Ace of Spade is, first of all, Ace is for beginnings. Um, it could be a new phase in the already whole situation. Or just a brand new and improved situation over here. You know, but I'm, 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 I'm seeing or feeling and the card shows that you have some form of new insights and realization to move forward and to have a new beginning in romance or whatever but um let's go to the clarifier which is um the nine of diamond so we're clarifying the five of diamond and um it's basically saying that you're you're at a point where you're getting independence um you're feeling you know self-reliant you're you're increasing your wealth you know you're getting those coins up <laughs> you're at a better place you're at a better place practically in your material world things are things are growing you know things are increasing and um your health your health will be getting better so if if you've recently um lost possessions or job or whatever you've lost you know things are the energies look really good so you just have to keep focused and keep your vibrations high and um the overall advice is the joker so this could mean that um you you're about to take a big risk 
and um, you you have unlimited potential. The world is yours. You know, go out there and shine. You know, do what you got to do to make make your dreams happen. It could mean it could mean that um, you're about to take a risk, and um, it it will feel worth it to you. And you know, you have a good card. You know, you got a you got a good card in the game. <laughs> Yeah, so um, do your best. So this energy could have already happened or is happening right now or is about to happen. And you remember you have your free will. So take what resonates with you. If it connects or disconnects, you know, please use your free will to co-create the life you desire, you know. You don't have to accept anything from anything. You just have to do your best to co-create the life you need. So I uh, hope you liked the reading. I hope it helps somebody. So that's about it. Bye. Until next time.